Hi, I'm Rocco Steno and welcome to Storymakers. Today, my guest, Kirk Scroggs, is all the way out in Los Angeles, California. But it's going to be almost like he's here with us. Welcome, Kirk. Hey, Rocco. Thanks for having me. Yes. So your book, The Secret Spiral of Swamp Kid. I am so excited about this book. And, you know, I'm looking at your character there. He kind of uh, looks a little bit like you. So when you were creating uh, your character, Russell, did you uh, look in the mirror? I did. And, and I have to tell you, I, am, I was guilty of writing and doodling in a spiral notebook when I should have been paying attention to the teacher. So that was my childhood. Oh, I got a couple uh, calls from the school and uh, my parents were a little concerned. I was drawing too many monsters. Uh, monsters. Oh, and there, there is a monster or two in this book uh, uh, also. Right. Your character has a, he's a different type of uh, young man. Yes. So want to tell us about him? Well, Russell's pretty much the like ultimate outcast. I mean, he has algae for hair. He's got face tendrils. He's got a frog that lives in his giant like tree trunk arm. He's definitely an outsider. Although he's an outsider, he also has uh, a, uh, one or two good friends, too, in, in his uh, school, right? Yes, he's got Charlotte, who's like his ultimate defender. She's his champion. And uh, throughout the course of the book, he makes a new friend whose, whose name is Preston. And so luckily, he's got a, he's got a small support system, but he, he gets a lot of grief from the, the school bullies, unfortunately. Now, uh, tell us about uh, Russell's uh, arm. Yes, he has a very dramatic arm. He kind of looks like if you took one of Swamp Thing's actual arms and, and tacked it onto a to a 12 year old. It's gigantic. It's enormous. And it's like a it's it's its own ecosystem. There's a frog that lives in it. His name's specimen number two. And the, the frog actually suffers from the same kind of condition that uh, Swamp Kid and Swamp Thing suffer from. He's, he's part plant. Swamp Thing, you know, now Swamp Thing uh, is, um, can we call him a monster? He is a monster. That's, that's what I always loved about Swamp Thing is when I was little, I loved that he was kind of like if you combined Frankenstein with Batman or Superman, he's like a mesh between the two. And, and he's like a tragic figure, kind of like Frankenstein. He's, he's kind of a good guy deep down. So you mentioned about uh, doodling when you were a kid. So do you think that doodling led to your uh, career as a, uh, an author and illustrator. Rocco was the only thing I was good at. I have like uh, probably five or six notebooks full of all the craziest monsters you can imagine. How old were you when you did those? Oh man, these are like uh, middle school, but I started in kindergarten. My kindergarten teacher called my poor mother and said I was drawing too many jack-o'-lanterns, too many witches and goblins. Have you been doodling while we've been uh, uh, chatting here? I've dr I'm always drawing monsters, Rocco. In fact, I drew one just now. This is Swamp Rocco. <laughs> yes. Is any of it uh, of, of me vegetation? You got a little grassy hair. I, I need a green marker, but yeah, you got some grassy hair going on. I'll take hair any way I can get it. Thank you so much. In your, the back of your book, you have uh, boredom activities, and they're step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on how to draw some of your characters. Can you draw one of your characters for us today? Yeah, I thought, uh, why don't we do... I did a video where I drew Swamp Kid, so maybe I thought today we could draw Swamp Thing. So you start off with mean-looking eyes. It's got a furrowed brow. It's made out, it's like a vine. He's got face tendrils. Like this. Get some nostrils in there. He's a formidable presence. So he's got some uh, furrowed wrinkles there, high cheekbones. He's a handsome devil. He's got lots of grass and moss and algae on him. Comes straight out of the Louisiana swamp. Giant pecs. He's been working out. There we go. He's dripping with all sorts of algae. 
He's feeling pretty today, so he's got a little flower coming right out the top of his head. There you go. What do you think? That's great. Thank you. So, so Russell creates his own graphic novel, doesn't he? Yeah, he is an aspiring comic book artist. That's what he wants to do with his life. So I thought it'd be really fun to just uh, have him create a comic book out of his spiral notebook. And he does it with whatever's on hand, pencils, markers, crayons, uh, colored pencils. He uses it all. And your readers can do the same thing. Yeah, I wanted uh, readers to basically uh, feel like they could just create their own comic book, their own story, just grab a, grab a spiral, grab whatever pencils or pens they have on hand and, and just get creative. So kids, draw some fan art from Swamp Kid and send it to us. Who knows, you may get on Fan Art Friday. Kirk, thanks so much for being here. Well, sort of being here. And uh, it was really great having you. Thanks for having me, Rocco. This was amazing. And remember, until next time, read a book in any format or draw a book.